my dear children welcome to learners planet children we will continue the chapter that is parts of a plant in this session 2 so children we studied about the parts of a plant like root and stem in detail now we will study about other parts of a plant in detail so first we will study about leaf children leaves grow on stems the leaf is known as the kitchen of the plant because it makes food for the plant so children always remember that leaf is the kitchen of the plant children you can see this picture the flat surface of the leaf is called leaf blade yes children so this is called the leaf blade and children if you look at a leaf carefully you will find a lot of lines running across it so children these lines are called veins so children the flat surface of a leaf is called the leaf blade and the lines running across the leaf are called veins children now we will study about the uses of leaves so children the first use of leaf is that green leaves prepare food for the plant in the presence of air water and sunlight so children you can see in this picture and you can say that they prepare food in presence of air water and sunlight children you must have seen that many leaves appear green in color so children why are they green in color leaves appear green in color because they contain a substance in it which is called a chlorophyll so children chlorophyll helps leaves to prepare food the second use of leaf is that leaves give out a gas called as oxygen this gas is used by living things for breathing so oxygen is 
a very important gas for living things because we breathe in oxygen children the third use is that leaves of some plants store food for example spinach cabbage lettuce and coriander leaves are examples of leaves eaten as food so children these are leaves of some plant that store food and they are eaten as food children the leaves in cactus are reduced to thorns so children food in cactus is made and stored mostly in the stem and not the leaf okay children so always remember the example now we will study about the beautiful part of a plant and that are flowers flowers grow on the stem they make the plant look pretty flowers are of different shapes and colors so children you can see some beautiful flowers and children also see this picture a woman is holding a beautiful flower and there are also other beautiful flowers so children flowers are of different shapes and colors they usually have a sweet smell and that is why we love flowers children there are some flowers that change into fruits so children for example these are apple flowers and after some time when they grow these apple flowers change into apple fruits and that is why we get many apples from the apple tree and children most fruits have seeds inside them for example grapes and watermelon see there are many seeds in watermelon and also papaya there are many black color of seeds in papaya so children most fruits have seeds inside them there are some fruits that do not have seeds inside them but most fruits have seeds children seeds grow into new plants you can see in this picture there is a seed and the baby plant is coming out of it and after some time you can see 
Now it grows into a very big and a new plant. So children, the flowers help a plant grow more of its own kind. For example, apple flowers gives apple fruits. Flowers are very important to a plant as they help it to reproduce. So children, there are some examples such as cauliflower and broccoli. So children, cauliflower and broccoli are such flowers that we eat. And children, there are some flowers that have a sweet smelling substance which is called a nectar. And the nectar attracts insects towards the flowers. So children, we studied about flowers and now we will study about fruits. Children, there are some fruits such as mango and plum that have a single seed inside them. So children, these are the fruits that have single seed inside them. Children, there are some other fruits such as apple, orange and lemon that have a few seeds inside them. So these are some examples that have few seeds inside them. Children, fruits such as strawberry and watermelon have many seeds. So children you can see here that strawberry has many seeds and even watermelon have many seeds and papaya is also such a fruit that have many seeds. Now children, we will study about seeds. Seeds are of different shapes, sizes and colors. And we eat some seeds such as rice, wheat, oat, barley, corn and gram. So these seeds are called edible seeds. Children for example groundnuts. Groundnuts are seeds of the groundnut plant. So children, spices such as mustard, cumin and pepper are also seeds. So we eat seeds of such plants. But children, there are some seeds which we usually throw away. For example, and an orange, an apple, a pear. These are some fruits whose seeds 
are thrown away. Why? Why we throw away the seeds of such fruits? Because we do not eat them and we cannot eat them. So we throw away the seeds of such fruits. So children, I hope you are all clear with the parts of the plant. Now we will study about a baby plant inside a seed. So children, a seed has a baby plant inside it. You can see in this picture, there is a seed and this is a baby plant inside it which grows afterwards into a very big and beautiful plant. So children, when the seed gets the right amount of air, water and warmth, the baby plant starts growing. So children, this baby plant starts growing into a healthy big plant. So children, always remember that there is a baby plant inside a seed. And after some time, it grows into a big and healthy plant. So children, the growth of a seed into a baby plant is called germination. So children, we saw germination in a seed. Children, I hope you enjoyed this session and now we have completed this chapter. So children, keep studying about the parts of a plant and keep growing trees and keep planting. Thank you children.